sorry. I was uh, kind of in the zone. Marking out some uh, grain patterns for some leg stock I'm going to be cutting out. Listening to a little cheap trick. Great band. Got me thinking, too, about cheap tricks. I know everybody would like to have one of those nice $300 air cleaners that hangs down from the ceiling, filters air down to submicron levels, turns itself off after a period of time. Heck, probably makes coffee for you, too. Very, very cool. But I just spent $300 on a nice pile of cherry, so I've got to keep it down to earth. This isn't a new trick. Certainly a lot of guys have duct tape a filter over a, a box fan in the past and it works okay. But come on, we're woodworkers and duct tape really has no place in our shops. So let me show you a little bit more upscale version of a cheap trick. To make our cheap trick substitute for a $300 air filter, first thing we're going to need is a fan. This is just your basic old 20 inch box fan. I picked this up yesterday for 15 bucks. Usually about 20 bucks, but it was on sale. I got a filter to fit the fan. A little bit better grade than the basic filter. Cost me all of $4.75. And I got some J channel. This is available in the vinyl siding section of the store. I'm gonna need about six feet of that. Picked up some chain because I want to hang my uh, fan from the ceiling. And picked up some eye bolts and miscellaneous hardware to be able to attach the chain to the fan. And we're ready to go. Okay, so we got the fan out of the box. Got the labels off of it. Now all we want to do is just remove the back grill. We won't be needing that. This is on the suction side of the, uh, of the fan. And then we want to just drill an access hole in each of the four corners so that we can put in our eye bolts and hang this from the ceiling. So I've got an eye bolt here with a nut threaded on it and a washer. We'll stick that through the hole. And another washer. And a lock washer. And put on the other nut. Tighten that up and do that in all four corners. That's where we'll hang the fan. I cut a short piece of J-channel here to go across the bottom of the fan, drilled a pilot hole through the J-channel and through the metal housing of the fan, and now I'm just going to line this up and drive it home. Same thing here on the other side, pilot hole, sheet metal screw. and tighten it home. Now with the bottom piece in place, I'm going to take the filter, flip it into the J-channel, center it on there, and this will give me the dimensions of where to cut and place the other two pieces of J-channel. You may be having a little difficulty in bending the J-channel up to get the screws in, so a little trick I learned was to drill a half inch access hole in this side of the J channel so that I can then go through that access hole into the J, other side of the J channel and into the side of the fan to drill my pilot hole. Then it's easy to get in there and put the screw in. Now with the J channel attached on both sides, it's pretty easy to slide the filter home. Make sure that you have uh, the air direction arrow on the filter facing the right way because this is the intake side and you want the air to flow through this way. So we're finished now except for hanging it. Let's take a look at, uh, at how that works. So I'm all done. Um, it's a little warm up here in the rafters so I'm going to come down and get behind the camera and show you how the installation turned out. You might think I hung the fan upside down and I did. That way the controls are closer to the floor. Note also that I plugged the fan into a cheap remote switch. Works great. So $35, clean air in the shop, and no duct tape. That's a cheap trick I can live with. Pretty down to earth, huh?
I guess the question is now, how am I going to spend that money I just saved? 